there, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 5th, 2024. Welcome to another Survivor Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun, as we did have a M-class solar flare since last night, and as well a pretty large backside solar flare that created a large coronal mass ejection, as posted earlier in the sun short. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, pretty active sunspot region coming in for Earth facing right now, and as well another one cresting in. You'll be able to see that as it will be in another light here soon. Looking at outgoing. This is where we saw the most recent moderate M-class solar flare from that bright, fiery region turning away. Looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, most notable regions and areas of interest. And as well, large coronal hole in the Northern Hemisphere. And a watch on the top right-hand side in the last few images, and that is where we saw the most recent X-class solar flare on the back side of the sun. There must be a very large sunspot region on the back right now. And we will see what that looks like over the next week, two weeks as it comes around for an Earth-facing party. Having a look right now at five sunspot regions. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion, Quite a grouping there in the southern equator, equatorial region. And as well, look at that left-hand side, big black hole cresting on the limb. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts from the most recent solar flare. Solar winds are coming in at 380 kilometers per second. A little bit down from yesterday, just over 400. Radio flux, 241 SFU. That is pretty high. Solar X-ray flux showing here some very active spikes, M-class solar flares and multiple C-class solar flares. Solar proton flux coming down now. And geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2 after being up to a plus four overnight. They still have not updated the Space Weather Prediction Center spirals here. Little green circle on the right-hand side is Earth. And that is the cosmic energy that is predicted heading our way up until the 10th. Here's the most recent detected CME from the backside of the sun. Just a grazing Mercury. And here is a look at that CME here at Lasco 3. And as you can see, there have been uploaded any images since 9.50 this morning. Having a look at Lasco 2, this is since September 1st, slowing down the largest coronal mass ejections. We've seen three pretty, uh, three pretty large ones since the beginning of September. And that is the most recent Halo CME from the backside of our sun. Amazing images here brought to you by Soho, mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for pressing play and being a part of this channel and amazing, loving and supportive community. I'm so appreciative of you all. We are getting very close to 80,000 followers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. And tag somebody that you would love to keep aware and prepared. Let's have a look at earthquakes the past 24 hours. As we had a pretty deep earthquake this morning. Lavuka, Fiji, 604 kilometer depth, 4.3 magnitude. Notable earthquakes, Kermadec Trench, 5.2 there. 6.2, Papua New Guinea. Angaram, and that was off the coastline. That is the largest the last 24 hours. Notable activity there at the Kermadec Trench. 
Kermadec Islands. Looking across the Pacific, 4.3 there. Adak, Alaska from yesterday. And Kurilsk, Russia, 4.5 today in between Kamchatka and Japan. No real notable earthquake swarms to talk about. 5.5 earthquake here, Wreck James Ridge, northern mid-Atlantic. Lots of activity up into Iceland and the Wreck James Ridge. 4.9 earthquake here, south of Panama. And as well, notable activity, the Virgin Islands, 3.9 magnitude earthquake, Cruise Bay. 5.7 earthquake here as well, Chalapada. Bolivia, 222 kilometer depth. That's a pretty rare place for an earthquake. Bolivia. So, heads up, my friends and family, if you are in an earthquake prone zone, be ready. Owen Fracture Zone, 4.6. 4.6 there, Farkar, Afghanistan. And as well, a 4.3, Azerbaijan. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Keeping an eye on the trench and as well the Australian plate. Lots of activity as of late. Papua New Guinea and deep earthquakes. Fiji have got me a little bit concerned. This is a browse at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Largest being the 6.4 magnitude earthquake. Papua New Guinea. Notable earthquakes there. Northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. All around the North American plate. Increasing seismicity, South American plate. And no major swarms to talk about. USGS is reporting about 220 earthquakes the last 24 hours. Now let's have a look at most recent satellite imagery overlooking Super Typhoon Yagi. And it is, as it is very close, probably about 300 kilometers away from Haikou, uh, China mainland. But look at the massive storm clouds that are developing here. Huge cloud tops, lightning strikes, unbelievable. Extreme weather event, torrential rains through Vietnam. This is big trouble in big China. And as well, Vietnam, Typhoon Yagi rearing up, quite possibly could turn into a Category 5 throughout the night tonight. Look at the vast size of this super typhoon stretching from the Philippines to Vietnam. Looking here at Zoom Earth, Typhoon Yagi, Violent typhoon, winds coming in at 220 kilometers per hour, sustained winds. And it is forecast here to quite possibly turn into a Category 5. It looks like it may have there with that pink. 240 kilometers per hour, strongest winds recorded. Looking at here, invest areas through the Pacific. Stretching across here to the Atlantic. And we've got five areas of interest right now. One in the Gulf, one off the coast of the uh, eastern United States, one through Guatemala, and a couple through the central Atlantic. Some extreme weather breaking out across northern Africa, Algeria, Libya, Mali. Having a look here at Forecast models for Typhoon Yagi. Looks like it'll be making landfall uh, tomorrow and into Saturday. And then grinding up into Myanmar. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who will be affected by Typhoon Yagi. Most likely is going to bring devastating floods, strong winds, and just unbelievable extreme weather event, actually. Big trouble in big china also we have a cyclone here developing for new zealand in the long range we'll leave you here overlooking north america high pressure ridge moving in for most of the united states and as well 
central Canada. These systems, most of the moisture is in Quebec, Atlantic provinces, and as well, BC and Alberta. As all, the, all these systems are now tracking northward and gathering some cold temperatures from Greenland. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.